Hello all my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. And if this is the first time that you're on my channel, please allow for me to introduce myself to you. My name's Vanessa Samina and I'm the author and creator of various tarot and oracle decks, as well as your one and only psychic big sis here on YouTube. So in today's pick a card tarot reading, we are going to be uncovering how they truly feel towards you. And just as a little disclaimer right off the bat, I'm going to be taking Taking my sweet time with these four groups so do whatever you need to in order to make yourself feel at home and relax get yourself a beverage of your choice a little snack if you can lay down or sit in a reclined position take a deep breath in and let it all out you guys know that I've been providing you with psychic predictions on this channel for years to the point that YouTube even flew me out to LA to invite me to World Tarot Day. You guys know that I'm always very direct and honest and detail oriented when it comes to these predictions and I hope that you can appreciate the realness rather than just hearing what you want to hear. So in order to get to the bottom of their true feelings towards you, I have prepared four groups that you can choose from and I would like for you to pick one of these groups intuitively. Group number one corresponds to the Dark Heart Tarot deck as well as the Tiger Eye Crystal. Group number two corresponds to the Gentle Heart Tarot deck as well as the Red Jasper Crystal. Group number three corresponds to the Spirit Song Tarot deck as well as the Black Obsidian Crystal. And group number four corresponds to the Muse Tarot as well as the Citrine Crystal. But the timestamps to all four of these groups can be found below in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section. So I will now provide you with a little moment of peace and privacy where you can just meditate on these four groups in order to select the right group for you. If you absolutely cannot make up your mind, look around the room for the first number between one and four that you see, which intuitively catches your eye and select that number in order to receive your reading. And for all of you who feel very connected to their intuition today, I highly recommend that you go with whichever one of these groups that you feel is representative of your person. So as promised, here's your moment of stillness and I'll be right back to guide you into your readings. All right, all my beautiful babies of the Zodiac, by now you've hopefully been able to select one of these four groups. I'll be getting into your reading, starting off with group one, which corresponds to the Dark Heart Tarot deck, as well as the Tiger's Eye Crystal. So if this is the group that you chose, then please continue watching. And to all of my other beautiful groups, I will catch you at the click of your timestamp. Hello, group number one, and welcome to your reading. You chose the Dark Heart Tarot deck in connectivity to the tiger eye crystal. Now this is the stone of your choice. This is the gorgeous tiger eye crystal. This is a stone that helps you bring out your intuition as well as your natural instinct, which is especially helpful when you need to make decisions based on your gut feeling when there's no time to think. And this may be the case with your person and how they truly feel towards you. You may be in a situation where you've got to figure out what to do just like that in order to ensure that the connection continues on or stays strong. So first up, we've got the star card. Now, as you may know, the first card in a tarot reading is always a very meaningful and important one. The star in tarot is representative of hope and like there is a light at the end of the tunnel with your situation. So if you feel very uncertain about whether your connection or this potential romantic relationship will go somewhere, know here within the star that things are looking favorable. You will have all the answers you are seeking by the end of this reading. This entire connection that you've got here is going to serve you in some sort of way and we'll figure out precisely how they may end up being your soulmate the person who you will be with forever maybe you'll learn an important lesson from them or they'll even help you progress in your career either way here within the king of cups i can see very caring and loving energy the king of cups which belongs to the suit of cups which represents the element of water shows us a very authoritative kind of older gentleman 
who knows precisely what he or they want. And I see here within the King of Cups that this is the type of energy that you're meant to be around. This is the type of person that the universe and your guides want you to be with. But you also are responsible for your relationship. So if you allow for someone to help you to be like a shining star in your life, a guiding light, then they can step up and into that role. But if you, for example, do not trust a romantic partner you're with, or you're constantly overthinking your situationship, overthinking how they feel towards you, then that actually causes them to feel this sensation and this vibration too and it can make them a little insecure to really step up to the plate and show you that they can in fact be there for you so i see that their true feelings towards you are a work in progress but it has already progressed pretty far here that's what i see in the eight of pentacles they have been thinking about how they feel towards you for way longer than you even realize so they've been overthinking how you feel towards them just as much as you've been overthinking how they feel towards you all my beautiful souls of group number one and this definitely shows that there is some undeniable chemistry here with your person i also want you to know that the suit of cups in connectivity to the star shows hopeful energy when it comes to love and romantic connection connections meaning that there is a chance that this is someone that you will end up with and build a connection with that can last for a very long time next up we've got the two of water which is a highly favorable card when it comes to romantic love now the two of water can represent that they do in fact adore and love you that they have strong romantic feelings towards you they're attracted to your personality they wish they could just be with you for the entire day, week, month, and year. They want to caress you, to hug you, to love you, to be there for you, and to enjoy tender, sweet, romantic moments with you. So they definitely see you as someone that they would like to be with, and they feel towards you like you are the kind of person that you can actually start a life with. You are husband or wifey material. You are the type of partner that not only kind of draws a person in initially, but you're a keeper. You are the type of person that anyone could be lucky to be with in the long term. So there is a lot of respect and a lot of care for you here. Next up, we've got the King of Air. Now the King of Air stares us straight in the eye and the King of Air is not the type of person who will say something just because they feel pressured to do so. So know that however they feel towards you, they will express. Your person is someone who is kind of on the logical side. So if they're not feeling it, they're not going to pretend like they like you more than they actually do. That's just not who they are. And overall, they're a very direct person. The King of Air does also kind of represent the vibe that we've got here within your reading. Me just being very upfront, direct and honest with you rather than just telling you what you want to hear, just spinning every card into something more positive than it really is. The King of Air shows that we will get into a lot more truths, nitty gritty details, as well as realness of some things that you maybe didn't expect at all. So here within the bottle nose dolphin, I can see that your person is someone who loves to have a good time and one thing that they want to do with you is to socialize and celebrate life they are the type of person who needs some social contacts some partying some social interaction and it doesn't have to be anything wild partying in a sense of just going to a friend's get together birthday party or barbecue is something that they already love and want to do with you so they're looking for a pic a partner in crime and if you are more of an introvert group number one and you're kind of shy around people maybe you struggle to even figure out 
what to say to them, how to have small talk. I want you to know that this person can do all of the introductions. They can take away all of the awkwardness. They just want you to be there. So if you're ever worried about tagging along, going along with your person to a party or a get together that it will be awkward or that you'll just stand there in front of a stranger and not know what to say and that you will look like you don't even know how to interact socially, don't worry about this group number one and know that your person is seamlessly going to create a flow between you and their friends, their acquaintances, so that you will very quickly get to know their circle and feel comfortable enough to have deep conversations with the people closest to them. So again, here we've got this social aspect in the Orca pod. The Orca pod represents this message that teamwork makes the dream work. Work with others to accomplish greatness. Your person seems to be pretty successful at what they do because we had the king of cups, we've got the king of air, king energy, this masculine energy that is sure, that is leadership energy, just shows that your person is either already in their leadership energy and leading people day after day, or they are meant to become the king. They're meant to become this person who others look up to, who is in a managerial role, a CEO, just the boss of something where others really ask them for permission in order to do anything, to take any steps forward. But they're born to do this, and I want you to know that they truly feel about you like you are a worthy teammate to settle down with, or shall I say, to settle down for, as we spoke about how your person is someone who definitely needs freedom. They definitely need to be able to have their social interactions, and ideally, they want you to be part of it. They don't want to just go out by themselves. They they want you to join in so your person will require a good amount of attention and a good amount of energy from you to keep up with them i see here with an eye to eye that they feel as though you again are this equal like we just spoke about they don't feel as though they are out of your league which is something that your person has often felt in the past they felt like they are a giver, a nurturer, like they truly want to build something real. They don't want to just play games or be in a situationship. And here in eye to eye, they feel as though that's where you do see eye to eye and just overall on a social level, on a spiritual level, they feel as though you are an equal partner because you are similarly educated, whether that has to do with traditional education or you've just read and learned a lot and you've put a lot of work into becoming who you are and into being where you are today they can see that they can feel and sense that and your person truly feels as though being with you is a privilege like it's an upgrade like they've never been with someone of your caliber where seeing eye to eye just happens so easily seamlessly and naturally next up we've got not my circus not my monkeys so i do want you to know that they truly feel towards you very positively and they have had some friends who have told them that they're not quite sure whether this connection is really the right thing whether they feel as though your person is ready to be committed all of these things just trying to kind of plant these doubts but your person stands firm in their belief that it is not their circus not their monkeys so other people's opinion that's not your person's to carry they like you and that's the beginning and the end of the story even if for example your person's family didn't like you as much group number one i want you to know that they just find that childish that type of behavior they do not want to deal with any friends or family members who don't want to include you, who don't want to love you, care for you, and show you that you matter. They're the type of person where once they have decided that they want to be with you, that is it. There is no more switching, changing things up. There is no breaking up or divorcing either. They're the type of person who truly believes in fixing rather than exchanging. And another thing that I'm hearing here 
is making lists, writing things down that you both love, writing things down that you both struggle with. So in a relationship with this person, they will reveal their true feelings to you via text. So at the beginning, it will be via text or DM, via messages that you're using to communicate with when you're not together. And as you are in a more progressed version of your relationship with this person, they will write you handwritten notes, handwritten letters. That is one thing that I'm getting here. Next up, we've got the lovers. So right on cue, as you guys can see, I am shuffling the cards intuitively. I'm laying them intuitively. We are reading as we go. These are not pre-prepared piles. So the lovers showing up is so symbolic of how this person feels about you. They truly love you. They truly care about you. They truly want to be with you. They respect you. They want nothing more than a life together with you. Nothing more but to just spend every day and every night by your side. And overall, they think of you as their dream person, as their dream partner. Ooh, okay, next up, we've got the Queen of Crystals, which popped itself right side up. Now, the Queen of Crystals does represent that they see you as someone very nurturing and very attractive. So physically, they find you to be someone who they are extremely attracted to. They find you very beautiful, very easy on the eyes, and like you're someone who attracts attention that can sometimes even make them low-key a little worried that someone may snatch you or take you away from them group number one so the queen of crystals definitely shows us that they see a nurturing side to you and they also see you as mother material as parent material because you have this motherly nature to you next up we've got the dark woman dark woman indicates dealings or a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair so i can definitely see here that this is where they're hopeful they're hopeful to make things work with this individual which is most likely representative of you maybe at one point in time you dyed your your hair dark or you will still dye your hair dark and I definitely see here that having a tan that is what they really love when you have a little bit of a darker complexion than usual than during say winter months or when you're indoors a lot they love how radiant and glowy that you look once you've been out and about once you've spent time in the sun in the nature outdoors they love when you look very natural and sun-kissed. That is their favorite thing about you. And that is most likely also what's going to draw them in to you when you first meet them. So you might meet this person on a vacation during summer months, during a time where you're looking very vibrant and you've got a healthy glow to you and they see you for the first time, they will think, wow, she is stunning, he is beautiful. Whoever you identify as group number one, you know my channel is open to everybody. But now I'm going to clear up the space and we can delve a little more deeply into how they truly feel about you and uncover a few more details because clearly they're very much into you. They're very much in a space where they love and truly care about you. However, why are you still unsure about their true feelings? Why are you here? Why are you receiving this pick a card tarot reading? And that's what we're gonna get into in just a second. So hold tight and I'll be right back. Hello, group number one. Did you miss me? Now let's move even more deeply into your reading about their true feelings towards you. First up, we've got create and progress. So right now, your person is in a phase of their life where they're doing a lot of creative work and they're thinking about you while they're doing this work. So while they're, for example, painting, producing music, coding, coming up with something that is a little more technological or mathematical, you are part of their calculations, if you will, group number one, and you occupy their mind all the time. Within Trust Your Intuition, they know in their gut that you are an amazing person to be with. They know in their gut 
that in order to make things work, in order to have a chance at being with you, well, they've got to do more than just think about you. They've got to reach out. They've got to make a move. And I want you to know here within Trust Your Intuition that they are at a point in their life where they do everything intuitively. They don't make any decisions based on rational thinking, what society may say, and I know that sounds scary to be with someone who doesn't base decisions on rational thinking, but hear me out, group number one. It's not that they're not rational, it's just that when it comes down to those situations that I think we've all been in, where rationally we know what to do, but intuitively we feel like we should act differently. Like for example, rationally, if someone cheats on you, yeah, I would say you are in the right to kind of tell them that it's horrible what they did, that you're disappointed, maybe even to show your emotions through screaming, crying, however your emotions come up. But maybe in your gut feeling, you sense that it may give that person a weird sense of satisfaction if you do that. And then intuitively you decide to keep your emotions to yourself and kind of just play it cool in front of that person, just as an example. So this is what I mean with they trust their intuition. While rationally there may be an option that is feasible or that is acceptable by society standards, that's not necessarily what they're going to do. So your person may, rationally speaking, be in a position to ask you out. Maybe they've even had the opportunity in the past without you knowing, but they decided intuitively that it wasn't the right moment, not just because they were afraid of rejection, but they may have felt that you were preoccupied at an earlier time with something else, either getting over a lover or a past relationship. Maybe you were in a difficult situation mentally where the extra pressure of a lover or a new relationship and of this connection with this person may have just been too much. It may have in the end actually damaged the relationship so they're waiting for the right moment and i see here within no strings attached that your person doesn't feel like they own you of course they would be so sad to find out that someone else maybe kind of stole your heart or your attention away from them but if that is to happen, then they feel as though the timing just isn't right. They do not have any strings attached to a specific outcome. Your person feels as though if it's meant to be and the right moment occurs, it will happen. And if you still need to wait, if it's like the perfect person but the wrong time, and you are that perfect person, group number one, but maybe it's just been the wrong time in your life or their life, and intuitively in their gut, they feel as though there's still a little bit of time to wait out, then they will do so for the sake of the relationship because there's no point of rushing into something and it lasting a couple months or a few short years when you could potentially come together at the perfect time where you can build a strong foundation of trust and love in a relationship that can then last for decades or potentially even an entire lifetime. Within Be Authentic, I want you to know here that your person truly feels towards you like they can be authentic, like they can be themselves. They don't have to hide anything. Thing. not their background not their religion or a religion that they were once in not past relationships or even their sensual preferences i see within be authentic and all of these fallen masks that your person never felt the need to pretend to be something that they were not with you your person never felt as though they had to pretend in any way shape or form i also want to see when you are most likely going to get together with this person when they're really going to reveal their feelings that they've got towards you so let's see what spirit has to say group number one we've got june for you so possibility of them revealing their true feelings towards you during the month of june is extremely high and then let's see what other month that spirit has for us what do you think 
we've got here group number one let's just test your intuition let me know in the comment section if you got the month of the year right let's see during what additional month of the year the likelihood is very high of them revealing their feelings towards you so we've got november as well of course things can happen in between but these are just your love lucky months so to say group number one and i hope that you can appreciate my honesty even if you are for example receiving this reading during july august just during a time where you still quote unquote need to wait until it's june or november know that anything can happen in between of course however the possibility the chances the likelihood of you having someone reveal their true feelings towards you is highest in june and november june because it may just be summertime where you live if you're in the northern hemisphere of this planet and things are getting a little heated and spicy and everyone knows that november is a bit of a heavy month is a month i would say with the most life ending thoughts in society it is a very heavy month when it comes to your psyche and your mental space so them revealing how they truly feel about you during the month of november makes a lot of sense because it's just them getting something off their shoulders that they really needed to next up within the world reversed i see here that their true feelings towards you are very positive overall but they do have some worry there is just this one thing that makes them a little bit unsure and makes them a little scared that they have not yet figured out in their life and that is wealth now group number one that area of your person's life the financial aspect the wealth aspect i want you to know that that is where they feel as though they can't offer you as much as they would really like to they are worried that you may judge them they're worried that that is going to destroy the perfect picture or the perfect relationship with you and ideally they would like for you to build with them but they also don't expect you to do that they would 100 percent respect if you don't want to be with them because maybe they have not yet figured out their finances to the degree that you feel comfortable with but here within wealth bear in mind we're not talking about quote unquote basic things such as paying rent which is already something that i think a lot of people struggle with or paying for groceries we're talking about wealth and wealth is a lot more than basic necessities so they've got the basic needs covered but they're worried about whether they've got the extra the more than enough the romantic vacations the getaways the exotic shopping trips and experiences going to high-end restaurants all of these things that we see in the media especially on social media as well that is where they're kind of very worried all my beautiful souls of group number one and i see here in the six of pentacles that they're a giver they're the type of person who will help a family member a friend in need even a stranger and that's also how they're going to get successful right now they are not yet where they're going to be so your person is the type of person that will get very wealthy and very successful in time because they've always been a giver because they've always been someone who puts other people first and who has no problem with even giving their last chart to someone who is in more need and because they're such a good person from the inside out they truly will be blessed in this lifetime but they are going to start small and then as the years go by you will be able to enjoy everything that they're building and the wealth that they're creating and being in a relationship with someone where you start from the bottom where you build from the ground up i would say can be one of the most rewarding feelings out there now here within the eight of wands know that once you are with this person once they have revealed their true feelings towards you that they would like to build with you if you so agree to kind of also sacrifice some of your time to help them every now and then like answering emails like 
just being there for sound financial advice to listen to any challenges that they're going through and back them up then know that things will happen very quickly so things happening quickly when it comes to upgrading your life living in better zip codes upgrading by being able to get higher quality foods clothes supplements better insurances everything will happen so quickly that actually you will begin to realize that all of these things never mattered all that much actually you're willing to walk away from any of the wealth that you may create with this person just because you know that you started from the bottom with them you loved them before the fame the fortune the wealth you wanted to be with them from the start now this is a type of relationship that you see kind of in movies if you will in music videos where people have nothing and there's just that person that sticks by their side because of true love and then once they've got everything they want to give the person who was with them on that journey everything because they know that it's really true love and care now let's see what other area of life that your person thinks about a lot when it comes to you Ooh, marriage now group one this all fits together so beautifully you chose with the dark heart tarot deck a forever relationship a relationship that is meant to conclude in marriage or have a marital kind of aspect to it now marriage is not like the end right once you're married that's when the journey really begins but marriage is something that is part of their true feelings towards you that they want to connect themselves to you eternally they want to bond with you in a way that is deep in a way that is profound and that legally makes you one and i furthermore also want you to know that their true feelings towards you are pure the intention is very much to just be together to build together to create with one another and to support one another your person has very real pure kind intentions with you next up we've got all aboard so they are an all-in kind of person if they sense that you are unsure or that you're doubting their feelings you're doubting the relationship they are not going to be able to do it they won't be able to focus to concentrate to literally do anything because they need to know that you are all aboard that you trust them that you 100 also feel like this connection is true and pure and real furthermore within all aboard this is something only you can feel intuitively and this is a type of energy that you can't describe it's not something you can see it's something that both of you will just be able to sense and intuitively know whether it's there so next up we've got master of destiny know here that your person is someone who is going to unlock a lot of different ways of how you can steer your life and your destiny they're most likely someone who does a lot of inner work who also meditates because they have kind of unlocked how to control their emotions their thoughts and they're the type of person who definitely feels as though you create your own life and your own destiny and that's why they'll make it so far because they're not allowing for other people or society to dictate where they're going to go in life they have their own vision and their own image of where they will go and that image is often a lot bigger and more amazing than what society or your friends and family may have had in mind for you now you may have had in mind for yourself even not too much of an amazing or kind of successful life or not as much as you were destined to have and that is where your person's true feelings are that they're destined to greatness they are destined to be with an amazing partner just like yourself group number one and they're destined to push you to see that the dreams and aspirations that you've had for yourself they just scratch the surface of what you're really destined to have of where you're really destined to go and they have this strong bond that they feel towards you like they're meant to be the catalyst 
to building together, to creating a life that you're both proud of with one another and where you can look back and say, wow, we really did this thing, the two of us together from the ground up. Now, group number one, this is the reading that I've received for you, and I truly hope that you found it insightful and that you've enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know below in the comment section by leaving a rose emoji below. That way you can let me and others know that you were here. And that's the only way that anyone will know that you've chosen group number one and that you've watched it all the way to the end because otherwise there's no way you would know to leave that rose emoji below in the comment section so represent my beautiful unicorn family so i hope that you found this reading insightful i hope that it gave you a good idea of how they feel towards you and that now you can rest assured that this is a connection that can lead to something bigger and more profound and know that if this connection has not yet materialized it's the right person just not the right time however the right time is near and here group number one just as we discussed so know that i'm sending you so much love group number one and i can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings hello all my beautiful souls of group number two you chose the gentle heart tarot deck in connectivity to the red jasper crystal in order to figure out precisely what your person's true feelings towards you are this is the beautiful red jasper which is a stone that is not just filled with passion but also has very protective qualities when it comes to love and following your instincts with love which is a great start to your reading in case this is the first time that you're here my name is Vanessa Semina I have created over 500 pick a card reading videos with thousands of groups so, so I have essentially completed thousands of readings for you guys and I'm excited to continue doing what I love which is giving you insight on your situation so first in the page of diamonds their true feelings towards you are that they're feeling very protected as well as lucky to know you you are like this diamond they are looking at you as though you are a prize you are rare you are worthy you are beautiful and you are desired by many also in the page of diamonds I can see that their true feelings towards you are that they feel like you would be a very stable person to be with just as the diamond is one of the hardest most durable substances on planet earth they feel as though you are the same you're a very strong person you're a very knowledgeable individual and someone who should be treated with care someone who is truly truly one in a million so to them you're not like a pebble you're not like a rock on a beach you are a diamond you shine you are truly special to this person Person, but let's see why their feelings towards you are still a mystery even though your guides want you to know right off the bat that their feelings towards you are positive there is something that we need to figure out here something that's going on that's bringing uncertainty into the game within the six of swords it is clear that they once felt very differently about love and relationships so I can see that their true feelings towards you have actually changed a lot internally inside them in the past they may have never felt like they could find the one or be in a committed relationship but you are making them see that a soulmate a twin flame that one special person that you can do life forever with does exist and you're giving them a lot of hope when it comes to this aspect of love we've also got two moon symbols if you look very carefully and closely within your two cards here and i want you to know that the moon stands for your your divine feminine energy and your intuition so they love the feminine gentle soft dreamy side of you and they absolutely love when you dress up in delicate colors such as light pinks purples light blues light greens very very kind of soft yellow and orangey tones that is what I can see that they love most on you here within the Queen of Swords we've got this energy of being intelligent of being poised 
and elegant. That is how they truly feel towards you. And this is something that may make them slightly insecure at times because they feel in a way like you're a little bit out of their league. If they are represented in the page of diamonds as the page and you are this diamond, they feel as though they are a common person and you are a prize. You are someone who absolutely deserves the entire world and they're a little worried about whether they can even give that to you. So their insecurity is a big reason as to why you maybe don't know truly how they feel about you or why they haven't been able to actually admit that to you just yet. So they look up to you as someone who is just amazing, someone who is like a dream person. And here within the Nine of Cups, we have one of the most favorable cards of the tarot. The suit of cups corresponds to the element of water. And this is the suit that deals with your emotions. And the Nine of Cups is a card that is also known as the wish card in the tarot, in the minor arcana of the tarot. If you're in my tarot reader course, then you know that this wish card means that dreams are coming true. Things you've manifested and wished for now finally have come to a point where they are going to be a reality, where things are going to go from a place where you've just thought about it and it was just a simple thought to you actually living it. So from thinking about how this person feels about you and maybe even fantasizing about being with them, you are going to actually end up in a real relationship with someone who looks at you like you are a complete prize and the best thing that's ever happened to them. Next up, we've got the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups shows us the beginning of a new relationship. And this new relationship is going to make you feel like Hmm, you're not quite sure where it's going to lead, but you're optimistic. So their true feelings towards you is that they would like to pursue a relationship with you. That is their biggest wish and dream. Of course, you need to be ready for it as well, group number two. But do know here that if you are in a space and time where you're ready to pursue a new commitment, they are ready for you. But they want you to make the first move. I see here within the moon that they are someone who is very much connected with their divine feminine side, even if they don't show it very much, or even if they've grown up in a world and society that is pushing them to be more masculine. I want you to know here within the moon that they truly feel towards you like you've got this nurturing energy that they would love to have more of, love to have with them for their entire lifetime, but they also feel like they need to be a little careful with you because they do fear that they like you more than you like them, and that can make it very hard for them to admit their feelings towards you. Next up, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So we've got a lot of individuals represented here, and a lot look to be female or to identify as female and we've got two more cards that popped out of the pile i will just put them right here so we'll look into them in a minute but let's talk about all this divine feminine energy i want you to know that their true feelings towards you are that they want you to be able to live in your soft girl or soft boy era they want you to be able to be gentle, to take care of you, to allow you to pursue creative ventures. They want to bring the masculinity to the table. They want to provide and they want you to be in your full feminine force and to enjoy that in you. Next up, we've got the Hermit and the Three of Cups. So they want you all to themselves. That's what I can see here within the Hermit. They don't want to share you. Their true feelings towards you are that they feel a little bit jealous when they see you partying or with other people. If you're new here, then you may not know that I call the Three of Cups the party card really because it shows celebrating, having a good time, and and being with other people, going to birthday parties, to get togethers, weddings, and just overall, just meeting up with people, barbecues. I want you to know here that when it comes to your person's true feelings, they want to be there whenever one of these occasions occur because 
they don't want you to be out there alone. They feel very protective over you. They feel like they always want to be able to control the situation because just overall, as mentioned, you are the prize to them. You are like this diamond. You need protection. That's how they feel towards you. Never mind that you've survived all this time without them, but as soon as you are theirs or within their care they don't want to let you out of sight and they are a little bit shy to tell it like it is that's one thing that i see with your person their true feelings towards you are very protective very strong but they feel like they cannot show it until you've kind of given them permission to dominate a little bit over you to kind of say hey this is what i want this is what i don't want i want to be together i want to protect you in a certain way so they need your permission first before they will take over this protective role and create and progress know that what they love most about you is your creativity that is what makes you so divinely feminine the fact that you are a bit of a dreamer a genius creative even though you may not feel that way they see you as an innovator as a little genius someone who creates things that are beautiful that are worthwhile that bring something amazing to this world and i see here within decluttering that their true feelings towards you are that they want to get rid of everything especially their past in order to make you feel comfortable and to please and appease you so them living in a space where maybe they've had some dates come over or even some ex-girlfriends or ex-boyfriends know here within decluttering that they're getting rid of anything that could remind you of that because it is important to them that you feel comfortable and that you don't feel like they're in any way still attached to an ex or a past relationship Next up within updates to your system, know here that your person truly feels towards you like you are an upgrade, right? An update is usually an upgrade. If you update your phone, it's usually to make the phone better. If you update your laptop, for example, usually the updates are supposed to make the system run more smoothly to give you some sort of improvements that make the device more user friendly that allow you to have a better experience and in updates to your system i definitely want you to know that your person truly feels like you are a huge upgrade to their life like you bring an update to their system you have a lot to offer a lot more than just your looks or even just your intelligence it is just a combination of everything of the nurturing energy that you've got the creativity that you have within you all of these little caring aspects of who you are as a person. That is one thing that they really truly love and that they would never want to change about you. But let's figure out precisely what month of the year you are most likely, you are most likely to really start on a serious note with them and to enter into the relationship so we've got october october is a very likely time for you to solidify and officialize a relationship with this person but there is a getting to know them phase beforehand so you will need to spend some time with each other and then in october you will know their true feelings towards you because they will have revealed it to you on their own by themselves so first you're getting to know one another you're building trust and the big reveal is most likely to happen during the fall october specifically so all of my beautiful souls of group two i will now clear and cleanse the space and then i'll be right back with you to share more in-depth information about their true feelings towards you so just hold tight and i'll be right back welcome back group number two so let's delve even more deeply into your prediction shall we so let's see what their true feelings towards you also harbor we've got the sun which is a very positive sign so their true feelings towards you are definitely majority all positive all love and all a genuine care then we've got the knight of crystals they are in a rush and in a hurry to protect and be with you 
they are the type of person who once you give them the green light they will constantly want to do things together they will constantly also want to protect you emotionally financially spiritually so making sure that everything is paid for making sure that you don't have anyone around you who is like a vampire sucking your energy away from you they will want to make sure that you only have good influences within your life as it's very important to them that you stay healthy for the long term to be with them and to potentially also start a family with this person next up we've got the six of blades so they are kind of again very torn about themselves they're very torn about whether they're ready or not to be a committed partner and that's not because they're worried that they might cheat or that they might kind of get carried away by another person it's never been about that but it's just about all of these responsibilities that come with being a husband or a wife just overall a life partner right you are taking care of more than one person there are no games anymore that can be played and i want to figure out precisely what they are kind of the most concerned about okay we've got career so the thing that they are kind of the most concerned about when it comes to providing and being there is they're a bit worried whether their career is going to give you the results that you really desire out of a relationship so they're worried about whether their career is going to deliver satisfactory income, satisfactory free time, family time, they might be so into their career and being the best that they can, making as much money as possible, that that means it takes a lot of family time away, a lot of time to just spend with you and be together. And they're fully aware that this is something that needs adjusting. This is something that needs optimization. But nevertheless, their true feelings are that they feel worried about this. I see within integrity that they are worried of losing their integrity in front of you. That is their biggest nightmare, to feel embarrassed, ashamed in front of you, like you don't see their integrity or don't think that they are a person with a lot of integrity that is one of the most important things to them that you respect them and that you see them as someone who is worthy of your love who is worthy of your time because they put you on such a pedestal to the point that they're almost too afraid to even approach you or properly talk to you to be a part of your life that's why they need confirmation from you that's why they need the green light from you so that they can go ahead and really show you how much that they care so in the king of air they are a chronic overthinker the element of air belongs to the air signs of gemini libra and aquarius those air signs are known to be very observant very adventurous but also signs that overthink a lot. So they have this tendency to be in their head, to worry about whether you like them or not, to worry about whether you're happy at all times. And the King of Air definitely also shows that they are someone who is very analytical, very articulate, and they know precisely how to speak to you or to ask questions, to not seem too pushy, but to still get the answers that they desire. Because the Ten of Earth here shows that with you, it's done. The deal is sealed. They don't need anybody else. They don't need another relationship. They don't need another life partner. They're not looking around for anything. You are the one and only. You are the person that they want to spend the rest of their life with. However, the communication is something that can be a little hard in practice for them because they do have a shy side because they do have a side to them that rationally thinking they feel like you are out of their league so why would you ever like them back the way that they like you so one of the big misconceptions here is the perception of the whole situation they perceive you as someone who is very desirable which you are group number two but the thing is that they don't always see themselves as 
desirably as they see you. So they feel as though you've got a lot of other suitors, a lot of other people who are interested in you. And that is something that makes them a little worried and makes them overthink. So when you don't text them back or there's just a little bit of a pause or silence between communication, when you're up to something else, even though it's maybe just a hobby or you're working extra long hours, they in their head may think that you're actually spending time with someone else just because they feel in their head that you're so desirable, so special, how can it be that you're such a homebody? How can it be that you're such a hermit that literally just does work, your hobbies, you maybe hang out with friends and family a little bit, and that's it, you don't really party, you don't really do anything too crazy. The craziest thing that you maybe do is watch tarot card videos and play with your oracle cards or do little full moon rituals, sound baths, yoga and meditation. So I definitely see here that for them it's kind of incredible and unbelievable to think that that is what you're doing rather than spending time with all of these people who want to be with you who would maybe even give you far more than they're able to especially financially with gifts trips everything like that they feel as though there are people bending over backwards just to please you here within the deep sea blind shrimp using all your senses especially your sixth sense will help you to truly decipher their true feelings at any given moment group number two when you're texting this person or spending time with this person when you are sending them dms use all of your senses when you are sending messages or interacting how does it feel if you feel in a way like they are holding back and being a little shy if your sixth sense is picking up on the communication between you and them being a little hesitant, know that it's because they're kind of unsure whether they're worthy enough to be with you. They're kind of unsure whether they can offer you enough, even though they wish that they could be with you, they may not feel like they bring enough to the table and therefore they may act very shy, maybe even a little uninterested and they might even pull away for a little bit because they feel as though there is just this this energy around that they're worried you will see through them you will see that they're not as great as they maybe portray themselves to be and that you will ultimately leave them for somebody else or like realize that you are way too good for them that is a fear that they've got here within the flower hat jelly and your routine that matters ask yourself are you content with the communication with this person? Are you content with the fact that maybe at this point in time, you don't know their true feelings towards you? For how long are you okay with being in this situation? Because there's one thing about knowing that someone really likes you, about receiving all of this confirmation that another person sees you as a prize and as someone amazing to be with, but are you content with the fact that they are, in a sense, paralyzed to do anything, to make the necessary moves towards you to solidify the relationship, to commence the relationship, to show you how they truly feel? Is this something that you can potentially live with if they never become very open about it or if they're hot and cold for a longer period of time? Is this something you feel you deserve or do you just want to come to a situation where they either profess their true feelings towards you or then you move on to someone who knows how to communicate and who knows how to speak their true feelings out loud within create and progress know here that any time that you're by yourself single and you've got some time on your hands that otherwise you might not have if you were in a relationship pour all of your emotions into creative tasks as that is where you will progress and flourish the most and when you're feeling emotional you create the best work creatively speaking we've got updates to your system again so here within updates to your system and know that 
with or without a romantic partner you are upgrading you are growing you're getting better you're definitely not remaining complacent so if for whatever reason you're just not feeling them anymore and the fact that you always need to guess how they truly feel towards you know here that you deserve to feel loved and cared for at all times yes people can be shy at the beginning and it is acceptable for a certain period of time to be a little unsure i mean that's also part of the game of love getting to know one another dating is kind of slowly but surely figuring out that the person really likes you and figuring out how you feel about them and whether you like them back and how deeply you like one another but after a certain amount of time it just becomes a game it becomes in a sense unfair unjust and is undermining your self-worth so ask yourself if that point has already come or passed and be open to receiving somebody else if their true feelings towards you are not being revealed in a timely manner because you deserve to have someone who tells you on a daily basis how much they care about you how much they love you know here within be open to receiving that you will receive something from them a gift a present from this person but it might just not be the kind of confession that you would like romantically speaking and be patient if you feel as though they are gradually opening up but if you feel like your person is just telling you some nice words whenever they can feel that you've got one foot out the door already then know that they may just be stringing you along for a period of time that is beyond what you should truly be in romantically speaking of the guessing zone of not knowing because here within the journey and the number eight which is a very positive favorable lucky prosperous number know that love and life it is just a journey and this may be one stop this may be one person whose true feelings that you're wondering about and you could wonder about them forever there are people who are in romantic relationships and they feel like they never truly know how their partner or their spouse feels about them they feel like they're never truly all that loved or they're never a hundred percent sure how much they are wanted and that could be because their romantic partner doesn't know how to show it but it could also be because just deep within intuitively the security somehow isn't there either you feel secure loved and cherished by another person or you kind of don't or it kind of just doesn't vibe and doesn't click and it's okay along your journey you will meet a lot of people where there is uncertainty about how you feel about them and how they feel about you but group two you've got to remember on this journey to always always treat yourself and present yourself as a prize as someone who is deserving of always having reassurance and confirmation of being loved of being the one and only the most important person in another individual's life and that it's not too much to ask for group number two so this is the reading that i've received in regards to their true feelings towards you it is up to you whether you would like to accept their behavior whether you feel as though they are improving and they're just shy at the start or whether you feel as though this is something that will take longer to adjust than you're willing to give it time now group two leave a little sun emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here and that you received the second part of your prediction too i am sending you so so much love if you would like to be in a smaller group an audience where i read for you and just a few others check out my patron below I upload videos monthly on there so feel free to become a part of the patron fam in order to receive a lot of uncensored readings that are not here on YouTube but only available on patron furthermore my beautiful babies of the zodiac all of my tarot decks are linked in the description box yes you guys know I have created and self-published five decks already to date 
and we're still accounting and you know these decks are just the best quality decks ever i mean your reviews and your feedback doesn't lie so group two know that i'm sending you so much love thank you for spending this divine time and space with me and i can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings hello group number three and welcome to your reading you chose the spirit song tarot deck in connectivity to the black obsidian crystal this deck and this stone will help us find out precisely what their true feelings towards you are so let's get into it as i'm shuffling the deck group number three Think of your person, think of their face, their voice, the way they smell or look at you, the way that they text you. Just put them at the top of your mind, have them before your eyes so we can channel their energy into your reading. So let's see what the cards have to say about their feelings towards you. First up, we've got the Knight of Crystals. Now, a group number three and the Knight of Crystals know that they are a very determined person who is willing to work hard in order to gain your respect and your trust. They are also a little bit on the shy side. Your person's true feelings towards you are that once they feel comfortable and secure to pursue you, they're going to do so with a lot of endurance and determination the knight of crystals does also show that they are an unwavering and very thorough person so they will get to know everything that you love and everything that makes you feel comfortable once they understand that you're ready to be with them once they have no fear of rejection anymore here with the three of feathers i do see that they are currently recovering which is maybe why you're finding it hard to understand the their true feelings towards you or to read their actions or shall I say their inactions the three of feathers gives us an understanding that they are releasing something in order to recover this could be an ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend whom they were seeing and very close to and mentally they have already detached from the person they're not romantically interested in an ex anymore but they haven't fully released the person. They are just in the process of doing that now. They're in the process of detaching any memories emotionally. They're also releasing any items, anything that that person may have left at their home or in their living space because they want to just have a fresh slate for moving forward. So I definitely see here in their true feelings towards you that they are dealing with some of their own personal past, if you will, but at the same time, they know that once they've dealt with it, they're determined and ready to put their all towards a new relationship, meaning a relationship with you. Now, the King of Shells shows that their integrity is very important to them. So if you're wondering how they feel towards you, they're maybe taking their time to really profess to you how they feel or to get closer to you because it is important for them to not move on too quickly and then not fully be ready or not have fully cleaned up all of the remnants of their past. So this person respects you a lot, group number three. And they want to make sure that that stays very clear in every interaction and every situation in which you are together. And they want to make sure that you can see that they respect you, that they didn't just jump from one relationship or situationship to the next. They want to be fully prepared and ready. Ooh, we've got two cards that popped right out of the pile, which is the pineapple as well as the axe. So I want you to know here that there may be someone who is working against you without you even knowing, especially if you reconcile with this person. So if you've had a friend that you've fallen out with for different reasons, it could be because of jealousy, it could be because they were just a very dramatic person, everything you said rubbed them the wrong way, and the pineapple shows me that there is this want and desire for reconciliation, but know here in the acts that that will just never 
be the same. The feeling in that connection will never be the same. And they may actually sabotage any new relationship that comes into your life because they still feel wronged by you from the past. Even though you didn't do anything wrong, they in their mind still feel like they were in the right to have spoken to you the way that they did to have treated you the way that they treated you maybe they even blocked you or made up rumors about you and that's where i can see that any reconciliation will actually be damaging to a new romantic relationship of yours because here within the mice it's clear that any discord among friends and family will just push a new romantic partner coming into your life further into the future because energetically speaking group number three you're just not ready right when the energies around you are filled with discord and are filled with misunderstandings and jealousy i see here within the gong that as soon as you've kind of cleared and cleansed out your close circle this exciting event of your person revealing their true feelings to you is gonna come next so don't feel as though it's going to have to take a long time for them to profess their feelings towards you. It is something that can happen pretty quickly, but it also kind of depends on how ready you are to let go of connections that are super unhealthy for you. Next up within the sun, know here that your person feels only positive emotions towards you. They feel as though you have gone through huge glow ups and changes within your still rather short existence on this planet. And I want you to know here within the sun that they feel like you're someone who is trustworthy, caring, nurturing, and also typically symbolic of the sun. You're very warm, like you're the type of person that one can build a family with and live long term with. In the world reverse, your person definitely finds you close to perfect and is looking at a relationship with you as something that is an ideal dream situation. However, as already mentioned, they have some things they need to clear up and clean up before they can truly delve into the feelings that they've got towards you. Let's see what else is going on. Wow, the Ten of Cups shows here that they feel like you would give them so much fulfillment, maybe even a family, the opportunity to have this happily ever after Disney kind of story. And I want you to know that here within your reading, so far we've only had very favorable cards. The Sun, the World, and the Ten of Cups group three out of the 78 cards in a tarot deck those are some of the most favorable cards that exist no joke you can read about it everywhere and you've received them all one after another within your reading about how they truly feel towards you which shows a lot a lot of positive emotions that are coming towards you a lot of love now within judgment do you know here that your person is definitely someone who is hard on themselves who is a bit of a perfectionist and who needs to practice forgiveness i see that when you're unsure about how they truly feel towards you it's not because they're overthinking whether you're the one or they're not sure about you it's more that they're not sure about themselves they're not sure if they're worthy of being with you they're not sure if you will like them back they've got all of these worries about what you think about them and that is why it has been difficult for you to understand how they feel about you because they're protecting themselves and their pride and their feelings they don't want to look like an idiot or stupid in front of you i can see here within the cheetah that your person's feelings towards you have clear intentions they're very focused when it comes to what they want from you and what they would want out of a relationship with you if it's possible is this happy family scenario is two children living somewhere out in the countryside without a worry in the world and being able to just enjoy one another's company and live a pretty quote-unquote natural existence without too many distractions or social media for example without too many judgmental people surrounding you 
and the elk shows that they find you to be someone who is very dignified you are someone who is so respected by them that they're even a little shy to come up to you and tell you what they see within you and they will have to overcome this shyness group number three because in order for there to be a relationship in order for something to develop of course you will need to get closer to one another you will have to be more outspoken about your emotions that you feel towards one another and i can see here within the tiger that really your person has to step into their leadership energy and trust that you are going to receive them you are going to show them affection and they will have to make the first move even though of course you could make the first move towards them but i see that in order for this relationship to be as organic as possible and for it to have this kind of vibe of longevity where it's built on a foundation that you're comfortable with you don't want to be the one who is in pursuit of them you want to set up the dynamic of the relationship right from the start with them pursuing you so just lean back and let them come to you group number three don't think about them too much just attract them by living your best life and by focusing on yourself when you think too much about them energetically things will escape from you the more you think about them just focus on your creativity focus on speaking on causes that are really near and dear to your heart within tell it like it is i can see for you group number three that you give the best advice to friends and family and now it is about time that you take this advice yourself that you take your own pieces of advice because honestly you're giving away all of this free thing therapy but you yourself struggle in many ways and that is where there is a disconnect that is where you've got so much goodness within you so much light so much wisdom that you have gathered over the years with the challenging experiences that you have been able to overcome and weather and now it's time to kind of fix up the disconnect of, of filling up everyone else's cup meanwhile yours just gets a few drops just when necessary so group number three it's time for you to boss up your person is going to make a move once you've bossed up and i mean really bossed up once you're so focused on yourself it seems like you've got far too many very important things to do than to worry about love than to worry about whether someone likes you or not and that is the type of vibe that is the most attractive about you when you're in your zone in your element you're focused on your career you're focused on kicking butt group number three that is when people really see you not only as a leader but also as like the perfect partner to be with because on one hand you've got a side to you that can be gentle and feminine and nurturing and warm but on the other hand when things need to get done when it's time to boss up you know how to do that group number three and these are some really beautiful qualities to have in a romantic partner so what i'm gonna do now group three is that i'm going to clear and cleanse the space and come back so we can move even more deeply into their true feelings towards you so you don't need to do anything just continue relaxing continue tuning into your reading energetically thinking about your person as we delve even more deeply into your prediction all right my gorgeous souls of group three let's delve a little more deeply into your reading shall we so first up we've got the five of earth reversed so i can see here that your person's true feelings is that they just don't want to play games anymore they have been in situationships and relationships where they have been played where they have been treated unfairly and even cheated on and i can see that your person's true feelings have a lot to do with fear as well fear of trusting someone with their heart fear of trusting in a new relationship 
relationship because they have definitely gone through a lot when it comes to their past relationships and they don't want to go through any kind of heartbreak again. Now in the King of Earth, I do see that just because they've been through a lot and your person is afraid that you might cheat on them, that doesn't mean that they will show you that or that they will ever say to you that they're worried about that. They do believe in true love. They do believe in regaining trust and healing however definitely know that they are still going through a little bit of growing pains and healing pains as well so therefore it might take them some time to fully trust you with their heart and their emotions overall now the two of swords shows us here the two of air however you'd like to call this card that we've got the split personality going on here so the split personality means means that your person on one hand has a very kind of bad boy side to them a bad girl side to them if the, the person that you're seeing identifies as female but they also have a very sweet nurturing kind and almost motherly side to them so if they are a man or a guy definitely know that they reserve that side of themselves only for those who are absolutely closest to them so from the cards that popped out of the pile we've got the king of water which shows us very determined strong masculine energy then we've got knowledge reversed so a willingness to learn new things learn about you and your lifestyle so if you're for example vegetarian group number three or even plant-based if you practice a certain religion or just certain hobbies they want to learn as much as they can about it as they don't feel like they already know everything whatsoever they are like a student and then we've got the scribe as well as healing so we'll talk about all of these things in great detail let's first talk about healing we spoke about how your person is going through some healing pains through some changes when it comes to healing and and overall they are definitely feeling a little vulnerable and that is most likely also why they have not yet revealed their true feelings towards you they don't want to get hurt again they don't want to seem weak either and they absolutely do not want to sabotage a relationship with you just because they're healing they're growing or they're going through things that are not your making or your fault because they're going through pain that someone else inflicted on them, they don't want you to feel as though now you're paying for it. We actually have a card behind this card. Oh my God, the Queen of Air. Wow, I didn't even see that. So here within the Queen of Air and the Scribe, definitely know that they are laser focused on the goal, which is to heal, to grow, and to become smarter, better, and eventually be in a committed relationship. The Queen of Air shows us that your person is someone who is pretty wise. We've got the owl here, and they're very watchful. So everything that you do or you say they're definitely keeping a close eye on the situation and here within the scribe know that your person feels towards you like you're someone who is very trustworthy like you're the type of person with whom you can share any secret with and you're not going to tell anyone that shouldn't know you're going to keep it to yourself forever that's one thing that i see here within the scribe in connectivity to your person we have very intense energy here coming from the king of earth the king of water the scribe the queen of air as you can see all of these faces kind of staring back at you group number three in a very direct and intense way i want you to know that your person feels strongly towards you their feelings are stronger than you ever expected and overall know here within the master of destiny they truly believe that if you belong together if your soulmates twin flames and meant to be forever lovers you will eventually find a path to be together you will find a way to eternally love one another to eternally be a couple that's one thing i see here in the master of destiny and within am i blue know that your person also feels in a way 
like they're a bit of a burden. So mentally, they have gone through a lot. They have most likely even suffered from depression, OCD, or this sense of being a huge perfectionist. I see here within Am I Blue that it can be very hard for them to let go of the need to be perfect, to feel like they're doing everything right, and to kind of impress you as well along the way. In Am I Blue, the scribe and the master of destiny, I see that they want to either be the perfect person for you or nothing at all, so to say. They are definitely in a space where they feel as though they don't want to disappoint, they don't want to let you down. The Five of Cups represents just that, right? The letdown, the feeling like they're not good enough. That is something that they are dealing with, that they are internally a bit worried about because they would never want to see you unhappy or disappointed or as though you wanted something that they couldn't provide. I definitely see for you, group number three, that your person places so much value on your happiness, on your comfort, and on making you feel like you're also with someone who's like a prize, that you're with someone who is worthy to be with you, who treats you amazingly well, who loves, loves you in the purest form and just absolutely adores you. They want you to feel all of that and they want you to feel as though you've chosen the right person they never want you to feel like you're settling that is their biggest fear and worry now the eight of crystals shows me that their feelings towards you have grown very quickly so at the time of you even watching this video know that their feelings are rapidly growing increasing and moving towards something more solid something more real the more time passes by the more focused and certain they are are about what they want from you and about the fact that they see you as someone with whom they could potentially have everything with. Now the question is whether they are mature and healed enough to take the opportunity to profess their feelings towards you, to be direct and real about what this could be and where it could go, or if they are still a little immature or still need a bunch of time in order to figure things out. Let's see during what month of the year that you are most likely going to hear directly from them how they feel about you we've got September so all of my beautiful babies of group number three September is the month in which they will feel ready and prepared to be honest open and outspoken about how they truly feel about you and when they will also be ready to pursue something real to pursue something where they have healed enough to be a great partner a great PIC partner in crime, a great confidant to you, and overall to be able to hold space for you just as you are capable of doing for them. Now group three, this is the reading that I've received for you in regards to their true feelings towards you. I really hope that you've enjoyed this reading and that you found it insightful. If you did, don't forget to leave a little owl emoji below in the comment section to let me and others know that you were here and that you received your reading. Furthermore, if you'd like to be part of a very exclusive community in which I share uncensored tarot card readings and videos, check out my Patreon. It's linked below in the description box. And you can, of course, also find all of my tarot decks linked below too. They ship worldwide straight from Switzerland to wherever it is that you reside. So group three, Thank you so, so much for spending this time and space with me. I'm sending you unlimited hugs and love, and I cannot wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings. Hello, all of my lovely souls of group number four. You chose the Muse Tarot in connectivity to the Citrine Crystal. Now, the Citrine is a stone that brings you abundance, especially in the earthly realm. So group four, if you're looking to wear a crystal or purchase a crystal that is said to attract wealth 
in all aspects, financially, mentally, physically, then make sure that you add the citrine to your crystal collection. I'm also wearing a lot of citrine rings today and I'll leave them linked below in the description box. They look beautiful on all skin tones, really. Citrine is just such a gorgeous crystal overall, which makes for a fantastic choice for your reading, which we're gonna get into now to figure out their true feelings towards you. If this is the first time that you're here on my channel, my name is Vanessa Semina. I have created over 500 psychic readings on my YouTube channel, which means thousands of individual readings, as a lot of my videos have four to 16 different groups that you can choose from. So first up, we've got the chariot reversed. I do see here that when it comes to their true feelings towards you, they would like to take things slow because the chariot upright is a symbol for quick forward movement, maybe even rushing things as you can see all of these horses here that seem to be in a rush. It almost looks like a stampede kind of situation. So when this card shows up in reverse, it definitely shows that your person is trying to take things very, very slowly. And that is most likely also why you have been unsure as to how they truly feel about you. But let's move further into your reading to get to the bottom of their need for just steady, very slow, incremental getting to know one another. Next up, we've got the death card reversed. So they have been through a lot, group number four. Let me tell you, your person's life has not been a walk in the park whatsoever. They have have most likely also experienced some challenges within their childhood that have shaped them into who they are today and trusting is overall something that takes a while for them to do and exposing how they feel about you is something that they're still really afraid of because they don't want to be rejected they don't want to feel stupid so to say oh we've got a card that popped out of the pile for you group four i'm just picking it up we've got the five of voices now the five of voices shows that they're very torn on one hand they want to reveal their true feelings towards you to you and on the other hand they also still want to meditate on it they still want some time in order to make that decision to open up to you because they truly want to build something for an eternity for a lifetime and in order to be a hundred percent sure about how they feel towards you and the connection and to reveal it to you there are so many areas of life in which they want to first see whether you're compatible. They want to see if they take some time and space to be a little away from the connection you have from them. How things are when you're constantly together, when you do have those tender moments of sharing your feelings, your emotions, and everything that you're going through. They want to know how you react to ups and downs, how you react to rejection, whether you are a confrontation or an argumentative kind of person, how you are as a lover, whether you are forgiving, whether you're the type of person that holds grudges. They're not judging, but they want to learn all of the ins and outs and intricacies of who you are, group number four, before they can reveal to you how they really feel about you. But know here within I'm Golden that overall their feelings towards you are that you are rare, you are someone who is very valuable as a human being, and with I'm Golden, we've also got the number eight, which is a very fortunate number. This is a number of good fortune as well as abundance. The number eight is a stable number. It foreshadows that great things are coming towards you and the person in question. And know here within I'm Golden that they respect you and that they see you as someone who is worthy of true love and adoration. Next up, we've got master number 44 four which corresponds to the card of manifesting your miracles. So the person feels towards you like you are the miracle that they have been trying to manifest. And in numerology, the master number 44 is a number of ultimate stability. The number four by itself is a number of different seasons, just like we have spring, summer, autumn, and winter, and that completes one calendar year if we look at the seasonalities the four different seasons that we've got in some parts of the world 
but when we've got four we also have four elements right we've got air fire water and earth and just this kind of completion and the stability that we've got once all four seasons and all four different elements are together that is one thing that your person is looking for and they see in you and because they're looking to build something so long term with so much longevity Group number four, give them a little bit of time as they truly do want to be with a forever partner and they are so afraid of making the wrong decision or that you won't feel the same way that they do because they definitely put you on a bit of a pedestal. They see you as someone who is potentially out of their league, who has different options. So therefore, it can be a bit scary for them to open up to you. Now, in the star, it becomes clear that they definitely see you as a star as someone who might even still become very famous either internationally or just within the career that you are pursuing and that you have that star power that star potential to not only inspire your person but everyone around you you also bring so much hope to the table so much hope to the picture that's what the star is representative of so their true feelings towards you are that being with you is probably not going to be a lonely kind of relationship you have friends family acquaintances who love to get advice from you group number four especially if you've always identified as an old soul or as the mom friend of any group definitely know that they can see that that is part of your calling and in the four of voices they're at ease and at peace with that they want you to glow and shine and be this version of yourself they want you to follow your calling they want you to be the person who inspires others who's there for others who leaves this legacy of everyone who's ever met you thinking yeah she really made me feel amazing or he was really there for me so your person is not jealous when it comes to that at all quite the opposite the four of voices brings us the number four again which just shows the importance of the number four within your connection so if you see the angel number 444 on license plates on the clock when you pay for something on a receipt for example if you're purchasing a lottery ticket i want you to know here in their true feelings towards you that seeing these angel numbers are pointing you in the right direction when it comes to love so the four of voices also shows here that you are probably the only person who can calm this individual down who can give them a feeling and a sense of just being themselves and relaxing next up within zero f's given i definitely want you to know that you inspire them to be more authentic and to not care so much about what others may think so if you and the person in question have some interesting differences whether it be for example your dietary preferences maybe you have spiritual or even religious differences you may come from different backgrounds economically but also just when it comes to your ethnicity you may be complete polar opposites look wise maybe you're someone who is curvier and they're pretty slender or you're very petite and they're rather large and tall i want you to know here that those differences are what make you a great match and what just shows overall that you've got different aspects to bring to the relationship that just spice things up if you come from a ethnic background or this potential partner does maybe you've got some celebration some tradition some specific dishes that you can bring into the relationship and prepare and just make this an amazing complementary fusion if you will i see here within love is in the air that their true feelings towards you are filled with love and in connectivity to zero f's given they do not care about whether someone else agrees or not they will not allow for society or these surroundings to dictate whether your relationship will flourish or will be a thing or not 
to them, the most important thing is to have the opportunity to be in a relationship with you, to explore your connection, and overall, they definitely have romantic feelings towards you. Even though they may have thought to themselves that they could get hurt, that this could potentially lead to a place of disappointment, they just can't stay away from you and that's maybe also why there has been a little bit of a cat and mouse game a little bit of a hot and cold situation because when they maybe think they can live without you they still come back they just can't get you off their mind they just can't get you out of their list of people to have in their life of people to interact with regularly i see here within the queen of everything which is one of my favorite cards of the wild muse oracle deck that their true feelings towards you also entail that they think you are the queen of everything you are the empress you are sitting on this throne worthy of everything worthy of all the attention all the riches all the care that one can give and they definitely also see you as someone who is intelligent so who has inner and outer beauty and knows how to utilize this to their advantage without it kind of being a little bit of a cheat code if you will so by cheat code i mean for example an attractive person who is only using their looks in order to try to convince someone that they're the right one for the job or the promotion that is an approach that your person wouldn't respect as much as the approach that you have yeah you may have charm you may be kind of cute but you also have talent knowledge and experience to back up your claims and to back up the fact that you are worthy of this job of this position of this salary whatever it is that you're gunning for in life so your person always sees the best of you and the best in you they truly feel about you like you are someone who is a beautiful who is put together who takes excellent care of themselves and group number four i don't want to even hear in the comment section how it's not true this is not about how you feel about yourself group number four this is about their true feelings towards you and their true feelings towards you are positive their true feelings towards you are that they see you as someone who is so worthy of love and respect and care they see you as someone who is stunning someone who would be a dream to be with and i want to see during what month of the year they would feel the most confident to reveal to you their true feelings on their own so we've got july for you now group number four july is in many parts of the world a very hot month a summer month i want you to know here that the month of july is when the likelihood is highest for them to reveal their true feelings towards you and when they feel the most inspired to be outgoing enough to profess their feelings and confess to you what they have been going through what they've been thinking and where they see you moving forward with them now group four this reading is about to get even more detailed and interesting so i will now clear and cleanse the space you don't need to do anything just continue watching and we'll get even more in depth into your reading uncovering their true feelings towards you we will discuss all of the nitty gritty information that we haven't gotten to just yet so you can get a very clear picture even of some things that they would be too shy to ever tell you so group four just hold tight and i'll be right back with you all right group number four let's get even more deeply into your prediction about how they truly feel towards you so let's see what your guides have to say first up we've got the three of air so one thing about their true feelings towards you is that it's taking a lot of self-reflection and self-study for them to understand why you are so different to them why you make them feel like they need to question their entire past and everything that's happened up until this point you make them think by just being yourself 
you give them a lot of this very intrigued feeling of wanting to learn more about you but also themselves because they ask themselves why they've been in particularly unhealthy connections prior to meeting you and if there's any unresolved childhood trauma that we've got here where all of a sudden meeting you and potentially being in a healthy relationship with you kind of scares them or puts them in a position they've never been in before and they're asking themselves if there's something wrong with them, if there's something to learn, to study up on that they weren't aware of prior to meeting you. So you're really making them see things differently and think about everything they've been through and how it's kind of shaped their romantic way, how they choose to deal with relationships and move forward in relationships. So here within the Queen of Water, you've got very nurturing energy as we've got this cancer right here this crab which is representative of the water sign of cancer which is very nurturing very caring we've also got these turtles here and i want you to know that anything water based or water related when it comes to astrology is said to be sensitive nurturing family oriented and caring and here in connectivity to the three of air they definitely find you to be someone who is most likely a ride or die kind of person who will stay in a relationship forever if possible of course if the person respects and loves you even through tough times and people like you are the reason why a lot of wedding vows have the till death do us part sentence within it because you truly live that and believe that within the queen of water i also want you to understand that this is representative of kind of this matriarch energy this energy of an empress of a mother a nurturer and a carer and overall someone who understands precisely how to take care of another human being without them even needing to say what they desire you intuitively feel what others are going through and you know when to reach out when to speak and also when to give people space and silence I will just add your citrine crystal here to this card as it really resonates with the wealth that you have and by wealth that doesn't always need to mean money or material things you have got emotional intelligence in abundance that's where you are very very wealthy group number four next up we've got the nine of earth now the nine of earth shows us that their true feelings towards you is that they want to give they want to provide they want to offer you something i also hope that you can see here within this little offering and dish we've got a butterfly that is coming out as well as a little snake head here i hope you can see that group number four now the butterfly is symbolic of transformation starting in one place and transforming to a completely different existence and a completely different set of skills right caterpillars obviously cannot fly and then once they become butterflies it's like wow it's a completely different world that they can explore because now all of a sudden they have the ability to fly furthermore the snake is representative of transformation as well the snake is actually a symbol of being able to shed old skin and move forward as almost like this newborn little baby and i want you to understand that they feel towards you like you're someone who's always growing always learning but at the same time you are also nurturing and kind and understanding to other people's journey and other people's timing because while you may learn pretty quickly or may do a lot of self-improvement in a short amount of time compared to others i want you to know here that they can see that you still understand other people's process even though it might not be the same as yours so being empathetic and compassionate that's something that they love most about you group number four now within the death card they feel towards you like they have to leave their old life and habits and patterns behind like it won't work being in a relationship with you and for example being kind of emotionally distant or not sharing as much 
in a relationship about how they feel what they're going through they can tell here within the death card that with being with you there has to be a completely fresh and new start they cannot bring old skeletons in their closet with them they also need to axe any exes or just friends who are even romantically interested in them because you will not tolerate that you will not stand for that nor does your connection with them deserve to have any of that type of interference and they can tell here within the death card that there has to be a transformation because that is what the death card stands for and we already had these little symbols of transformation in the nine of earth but it's being truly confirmed in this major arcana card which is number 13, the death card, which shows that in order for there to be new life, a new chance for your relationship and your true feelings towards each other to blossom, they will have to completely put an end and a stop to their old life because in order for you to have trust, there cannot be any other parties involved. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is a card of new beginnings when it comes to jobs, finances, time management, and health. Those are the areas that the suit of Pentacles actually really stands for. But when we're looking at your reading, this is about time. This is about starting after an ending here in the death card on a fresh note where all of their time and all of their resources go towards you as we spoke about here within the nine of earth they want to provide for you they want to do something for you they want to give you some sort of offering and the ace of pentacles shows that this is very new to them they've never felt this way before nor have they ever executed on this feeling they've never actually done it but with you they're willing to do anything and everything with you they're willing to give as much as they possibly can now within the king of cups know that they feel a certain sense of responsibility emotionally speaking to be there for you but also a certain responsibility towards themselves to make mature decisions it's now time to settle down it's now time to really act like an adult and they know that this time has come and this is again another factor another indication of how their old bachelor single life is done with it has to come to this death it has to come to this transformation in order for there to be any growth emotionally spiritually even in a material sense because having stability will also create more success when it comes to their professional life and their career now it is really like our guides and angels are right here in the room with us group four as the ten of cups you can see stands for love togetherness fulfillment and building something with one another the ten of cups is the last card within this suit from the ace all the way to the ten and then you have the page of cups the knight of cups the queen of cups and the king of cups but those aren't numbers right here within the ten of cups we've got the last number in the suit of cups which shows completion fulfillment not wanting for anything and being deeply and madly in love and if you don't like the term madly in love just head over heels okay you don't have to be madly in love or crazy in love because that that just sounds stressful doesn't it group number four but you get what i'm trying to say you get what your guides are indicating here within the ten of cups but let's move even more deeply into your reading about their true feelings towards you aside from the fact that they really do have a lot of love respect and care for you so next up we've got the leafy sea dragon everything serves a purpose give thanks to your body now you may have some parts of your body that you see and you think this is filled with so many flaws whether it's for example your skin texture your legs your fingers your arms whatever it is i want you to know that every part of your body serves a purpose first and foremost every cell in your body is trying to keep you alive every part of your body is here for you to utilize and have an amazing human experience however 
You may not like how some parts of your body look physically, but their feelings towards your body is that they absolutely think you are so attractive, especially with flaws and all. Your flaws are probably what they love the most. Next up, we've got the Great Hammerhead for you, Group 4. Now, the Great Hammerhead shows that you should get ready to win because this connection is stronger than you know. You're asking yourself how they truly feel towards you, but actually their feelings are a lot larger and stronger and deeper than you ever imagined them being. You have downplayed their feelings towards you in your head. You have overanalyzed how they feel towards you. You have overthought the situation, group number four. And in a way, this has now put you in a situation where you're not sure anymore what is real and what isn't. What is just a sign or symbol you've made up in your head and what truly shows that they care about you. And next up, what do we have next for you? We've got the spotted eagle ray. So here within the spotted eagle ray, just let it go. Oh, the spotted eagle ray is representative of control issues. I'm just wiping my card because I spilled some of my tea over my oracle cards, but it just shows you actually how resilient these below the surface oracle cards are. They've been wet now for like the past hour because I haven't been able to clean every single one of these cards and they're still in perfect condition. So you could say they're semi waterproof, um, but Coming back to the spotted eagle ray, we've also got the master number 33, which is the master number of a teacher. And I can see here that what really is teaching you is letting go and allowing for things to play out just as they should, not trying to control the situation, not trying to overthink their feelings towards you. And rather than that, just act as though you are getting ready for this relationship and connection to be a complete win for you, like we spoke about here in The Great Hammerhead. Take amazing care of yourself and your body. If you are looking, for example, to start a family, take care of yourself as you would if this partner was already in your life and you were already planning for pregnancy, for marriage, for moving in together. Just treat yourself as well and take as good care of your environment as you would if this person was already committed to you. Because with the great hammerhead, we've got master number 11, which is a master number of initiation, of leadership, of doing the things ahead of time. And I want you to know that when you do things ahead of time, you create an energetic vibration and frequency that kind of signalizes to the other person how you are actually ready. You don't need them. You're not desperate, but you've got all of the things that are necessary in order for a committed relationship to flourish. You've got that going for yourself and they can either be the very lucky one to enjoy that and to have the privilege to be with you or someone else will have it. So you're creating healthy competition when you're not too readily available. Because one of the reasons why you don't know their true feelings towards you is because right now the energetic vibration is a little bit more on you chasing them. It's a little bit more on you wondering what they are doing, how they are doing, how they feel towards you, rather than just letting it go and letting these control issues be a thing of the past. You don't have to know how they feel towards you in order to continue living your best life and in order to continue excelling and effortlessly attracting them. Here within the maiden, you definitely still have some growth ahead of you and potentially some family forming and family building ahead of you because the transition from maiden to mother is a big one. It is a very maturing one and a grounding one. Not everybody is meant to make this tra transition in a traditional sense of actually going from maiden to a mother. Going from maiden to mother could also be going from still being in the learning stages 
and the probational stages of a job to then actually being full-time in there from being just an intern to maybe a boss a manager those are the types of transitions where you go from maiden to mother and where you grow up you mature and you kind of in a way uh, take steps forward you make progress i can see here within the four of water that how they truly feel towards you is almost like you are a mirror that they're holding up to themselves and sometimes that can be a little scary especially when they can see some of their own flaws because you are someone who they find to be very respectable who they think has a lot of very promising and beautiful traits within themselves so i do see that there's a little bit of self-consciousness here there's a little bit of this feeling like Am I really good enough for this person? Do I really have everything to offer that they would want in the long term? However, this is just something that they think every now and then. It's not a constant thought that's bothering them. Next up, we have got the Four of Earth. Now, the Four of Earth does represent stability. The Four of Earth shows that no matter what, they will always try to protect the connection and the relationship, and that they would even give their life for their life partner, for their wife, for their husband. I want you to know here within the Four of Earth that they are a very strong headed and determined individual. And once they're determined to be together, absolutely nothing can stop that or stop the situation as a whole. And I also see here within thought that when it comes to their feelings towards you, they think about you a lot more than you ever expected. They overthink about you a lot. They have a lot of thoughts about you. They find you here in connectivity to the maiden to be someone who is very youthful and fun, who has a lot of childlike innocence still and is in many ways very untouched. And that's something that they like and that is something that is very attractive to them in you as well. You have this purity that they have been looking for and that makes them feel like you might just really be that person to tame them, to have them let go of their past life of maybe also partying a little more, dating around a little more, not being as serious as they could be. And I definitely want you to know here within thought that they often feel as though you might just be that person with whom it's worth settling down with. But of course, there are still some fears that they've got. And right now, when it comes to the little cat and mouse game that is dating and relationships, you have to remove them from your thoughts as much as you can. Group number four, you have to let it go. Because right now your thoughts are circulating a little too much around them. And we want to turn this back around to the point where they chase you. So the best answer at this point in time is to give them space and to continue living your best life. That is what will bring them back and draw them back into your spell. Now, group number four, this is the reading that I've received for you, and I truly hope that you've enjoyed it and that you found it insightful. Feel free to let me know below in the comment section by leaving a little crown emoji below. That way you'll let me and others know that you were here, that you received your reading, and you watched all the way to the end, because that's the only way you would know to leave a crown emoji below and furthermore if you're interested in my patron if you're interested in my tarot decks all of those including the crystal rings that i've worn today are linked below in the description box too so group four i would like to thank you once again for spending this divine time and space with me i'm sending you unlimited hugs and so much love and i can't wait to connect with you during one of my upcoming readings